A child's life is forever changed after she was hit by a bullet. Thanks for joining us at 5. I'm Denise Valdez. And I'm Vanessa Murphy. Now the man who claims this was an accident is heading to prison. We were in court this morning as he learned his fate, and I can tell you there weren't many dry eyes in that courtroom. Who is that? This is Drea Ramsey before a tragedy left her in a wheelchair. You gonna put it in the box? The now six-year-old child paralyzed after a bullet flew through a wall of her family's West Valley home last November. To hear the doctor say that your baby may never walk again when she used to run and dance. The fact that she's on a ventilator Andrea's mother, father, and grandmother speaking virtually at the sentencing of the man who fired. The only group of people who fired guns through walls. Well, not the only, but 95% of the time a bullet flies through a wall, it's, it's a sun man. Press one. 95% of the time a bullet flies through a wall, it's a sun man. And this is going to be like third degree murder. This is going to be like fourth degree murder. This might even be man, fourth degree attempted murder or um, aggravated assault. This dude is going to do eight months in jail. Grown man playing with a goddamn gun. This is something that, like, those kids that we just saw in the last story, that's something they're supposed to do. That's something that they're supposed to do, that 7-year-old and that 12-year-old. You was a grown man, cuz. You firing your gun through the fucking wall by accident. He's still running in. Drea's mother, father, and grandmother speaking virtually at the sentencing of the man who fired the gun from a neighboring apartment while Drea and her three siblings were there. I beat myself up. My baby should not be laying in that bed. And I beat myself up. Arian Willoughby still shit, man. Look at this beautiful family, man. Look at that beautiful family. This why niggas, this why LeBron and Colin Kaepernick and everybody who you saw kneeling for the fucking for George Floyd, everybody who ever kneeled for George Floyd that got two nickels to rub together live around white people. Press one. Everybody who got two nickels to rub together who kneeled for George Floyd lives around white people. Not saying that this can't happen around white people, because it can. Because white people got a lot of guns. But 99% of the people who kneel for George Floyd, if they get two nickels to rub together, they living around white folk. The gun from a neighboring apartment while Drea and her three siblings were there. I beat myself up. Because my baby should not be laying in that bed. The fact that she came once me, and you like he used to. The fact that she came once to me and give me her Arian Willoughby still claiming the shooting was an accident. I will ask the family first to please forgive me. Prosecutor Dina Renetti pointing out while Drea's family initially didn't know why she was laying in a pool of blood in the bathroom, Willoughby didn't reveal what happened. Police never found the gun after it appears he removed it from the... So he didn't call the police. He fired through his neighbor's home and didn't call the police, didn't 
didn't alert anybody. He just removed the gun from the home. The only, the only proof they got that the fucking bullet came from his apartment is the fact that the bullet came from his apartment. The hole is a hole in both walls. I'm surprised he ain't go to Home Depot and get some spackle and try to <laughs> plaster up the wall. <laughs> surprised he ain't get some spackle, them little, um, them little mesh, a little mesh taping spackle over it, man, and try to blow dry it so it'll dry fast. When the cops came. Nigga, you a disgrace, man. You got a fucking gun and you don't know how to fucking use it. Arian Willoughby still claiming the shooting was an accident. I will ask the family first to please forgive me. Prosecutor Dina Renetti pointing out while Drea's family initially didn't know why she was laying in a pool of blood in the bathroom, Willoughby didn't reveal what happened. Police never found the gun after it appears he removed it from the scene and there's video. An apartment full of children and he's aiming that firearm into an apartment. He knows another family lives. Willoughby shouldn't have been near. Listen to this. He aimed the firearm into an apartment where he knows another family lives. This is why you can't be around. This is why if you get two nickels to rub together. You're going to move away from black people. Because even when they don't mean to shoot their guns, like think about it, if this dude was mad over a parking space, he'd have shot into their, he'd have shot their home up. But even when you're just playing with your gun as an adult, you know, because adults play with guns, even if you're just an adult playing with your gun and it goes, it can go off and go through your neighbor's fucking wall. Prosecutor Dina Renetti pointing out while Drea's family initially didn't know why she was laying in a pool of blood in the bathroom, Willoughby didn't reveal what happened. Police never found the gun after it appears he removed it from the scene and there's video. An apartment full of children and he's aiming that firearm into an apartment. He knows another family lives. Willoughby shouldn't have been near a gun in the first place. He's a convicted felon with a past, including armed robbery, child abuse, and more. <laughs> Shocking, man. He's a convicted felon with a past that includes armed robbery and child abuse, man. No way, man. <laughs> no fucking way, man. This is the type of niggas you live around you live next to when you fucking live in Blackistan. Every fucking one of these niggas got a fucking criminal record and shit. Or somebody in the house got a criminal record. A fucking uncle that need a place to stay. Or a fucking teen that's in high school. Somebody in that fucking house got some fucking criminal record. And a fucking gun that you be safer giving it to a baboon. You be safer giving a gun to a baboon than most of these sun men, man. Child abuse and more. You can't keep hurting people. You can't just put a band-aid on it. She's a singer. She's a dancer. She loves the board. Judge Jennifer Schwartz Sorry, said the sentencing Willoughby is being sentenced to 4 to 11 years in prison. Yeah, you're going to have to get that shit out of here. Yeah, you're going to have to get that shit out of here. Yeah, you're going to have to get that shit out of here. Yeah, you're going to have to get that shit out of here. Yeah, you're going to have to get that shit out of here. Yeah, you're going to have to get that shit out of here. Yeah, you're going to have to get that shit out of here. Yeah, you're that's the best she could do. It's like this, like this fourth degree attempted murder. He didn't even kill the girl. Sing Willoughby to four to 11 years in prison, the maximum for the two felonies in his guilty plea. He's not a even though he's got a long career track record, even though he's got all those priors, the most she could do was send him away for basically three years be to four to 11 years in prison, the maximum for the two felonies in his guilty plea. He's not a victim. My baby is a victim. Well, 
One of the things Drea's family stressed is how much trauma they're still experiencing. The kids are even scared to use the bathroom because that's where Drea was shot. The family has many bills and many needs. We have a link to a GoFundMe at 8newsnow.com.